this cormorant right here. Not really sure what's wrong with it. Alright, get up on there. It'll be a lot better up there. Alright guys, welcome back to MC Outdoors. I'm sorry it hasn't been, or it has been a long time since I've made a video. Uh, but I'm back. It is, let's see, today is March. It's late March. I don't know what day it is. Um, I've just been busy as heck recently. Um, for those of y'all who don't know, I'm going to be a father this summer. Uh, we moved into a new house, new construction in August, so I've been crazy terrible busy uh, trying to get that ready but the dogwoods are blooming and what does that mean here in Virginia that means that hickory shad are coming up the rivers so I'm gonna do kind of a how-to anybody can do this I'm gonna be out on a boat today but you can do this from shore um, it's awesome fishing it's great for kids and it's mostly catch and release but uh, they are good eating too if you wanted to do that uh, they just have a ton of bones. So, I'll see y'all when we get out there, and hopefully we get on them. This is the first time I've been out this year, so I've heard a couple reports, and I'm hoping, hoping we're going to get them. So, see y'all in a few. Alright, so we're out here. Uh, there's a bunch of boats, but I haven't seen anybody catch anything yet. So, we're just going to kind of Troll around until we see somebody catch a fish. Because these fish, uh, they come in here from the ocean and they'll kind of hang out in certain spots as they're running up. Um, the tide is absolutely ripping right now. I believe it's an outgoing tide, but I haven't caught anything yet. I haven't seen anybody else catch anything. I'm thinking it might be because of the tide being so strong right now. But we're going to try it out, see what happens. You never know when you find the group. So. Wow, that's a good way to start this. Jesus. Gotta love it. Cool. Not. Let's keep on trying this thing. Oh, it's casting better now, too. I think that may have been my problem from the beginning. So, um, I don't know how well y'all can see this, but my rig's pretty simple. I just have a uh, sliding weight here. It's probably uh, maybe a quarter of an ounce, maybe a three eighths of an ounce, and then a um, just a swivel, and then about a 18 inch liter, light liter monofilament or or fluorocarbon, and then a little like one inch gold spoon here. I found that the the it can either be uh, gold or silver, either one works, but it seems like the gold I get hit on just a little bit more of the time. So, very simple rig, uh, light, medium, light action rod, and uh, just throw it out, let it sink a little bit, and retrieve. It's pretty simple fishing, like I said, it's very good for kids. These uh, fish, they fight, they're butts off so it's just a ball when you get on top of them still a little early but they ought to be here oh he's got one back there on the fly rod I forgot mine today so sometimes that's a secret Sometimes everybody's out here throwing spoons and 
whatever they can get their hands on and then the fly guys are just wearing them out it's just the way it is all right i think it's time to try a new spot because i've seen one guy catch a fish and there's another spot right up here underneath the 95 bridge we're gonna try that out see what happens it's been slow so far that's for sure Try this out. Got something over there on the bank. Looks like a catfish. Gosh, so we got people catfishing down here. The shad must not be biting. Something wrong with this cormorant right here. Not really sure what's wrong with it. Looks like it's been attacked. Take it to land at least, so it don't drown. Got hit in the head by something, it looks like. It just seems dazed and confused. Maybe if I take it to land, it'll uh, regain its consciousness and get back straight. I don't know. Alright, get up on there. be a lot better up there he was trying to he couldn't even breathe over there so get better little buddy all right let's try this again Back with the gold spoon. Let's try this thing. Kind of have to switch it up and sometimes go a little faster, a little slower. Higher in the water column, lower in the water column until you find out exactly where the shad are. Once you do that, it's easy. But until then, it can be a little frustrating because shad are pretty easy to catch. And if you're not catching them, <laughs> it really starts to stress you out. All right, there's a few in here now. Had a couple hits. I haven't connected yet, but they're in there. Guys up on the shore are wearing them out. Still trying to catch my first one. So, like I was saying earlier, you don't need a boat to do this. The guys up on the shore are beating the guy on the boat right now, so 
take your kids out come out here this is southern states building right there you can park over there next to the 14th street bridge walk down the rocks and have a ball it's one of the best things about springtime all right i'm gonna switch it up to the pink i haven't really gotten much of course a helicopter would come through Anyways, I haven't really gotten much on the uh, spoon, so I'm going to try the pink out and see what happens. Alright, finally hooked up. Finally. So, for those of y'all who don't know, this is a hickory shad, which you can technically keep if you wanted to. Uh, this is going to be, uh, this is a female. You can tell by the, uh, the bigger stomach there. It's not a really big one, but you can tell it's a hickory shad by that jaw. It's kind of, um, kind of sticking up more. Um, there are American shad in here, and you cannot keep them. So it's very important to know the difference between the two. Very hard fighters. Awesome fish. So it was obviously the pink that did it. I ain't caught nothing this whole time. And I switched to pink, and all of a sudden, I catch one. So I'm going to try another 10 or 15 minutes, but it's been kind of slow. It's, it's still very slow. Uh, for what shad fishing actually is so uh, I need to come out here again and show y'all some action-packed shad fishing but uh, hopefully uh, taught you a little bit if you don't know where I am uh, that's the 95 bridge right there uh, right here in Richmond and um, yeah we're right here on the James River the shad are uh, will be a plentiful and uh, it's a great time. If you've never been, grab somebody, go out, and catch the heck out of them. So just to show you all again, uh, now I've got this pink on. A little pink fly. It's probably like a 1 16th ounce. I've been about 18 inches above. I have a, a bullet weight. And... A swivel and that's all it is you just throw it out let it sink a little bit reel it in the video I hope, hopefully y'all learned something from the video um, planning on having some more so if you didn't learn enough from this one you'll get it on the next one I promise you and uh, hopefully we'll be catching a lot more too so you'll be able to see thank y'all for watching my videos I really appreciate it if you like this content you want to see more of it go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you on the next one Thank you.